In this video, we are going to discuss how to divide decimal fractions by powers of 10. Now, but first remember that powers of 10 refer to uh, the numbers 10, 10 raised to power 1, 10 raised to power 2, 10 raised to power 3, 10 raised to power 4, now, and so on and so forth, okay? Now, let's consider a few illustrations here. Now, assuming we have um, 20 oranges to be divided amongst uh, 10 persons. Now, we all know that each person is going to obtain just two oranges. Now, but what of if we decide to divide 25 oranges among 10 persons? Well, it means that um, every person is going to have two and a half oranges okay now this is simple arithmetic let's increase the number of oranges to 200 and then increase the number of persons to share the oranges to 100 now that is to say that uh, assuming we have 200 oranges 200 oranges and that we are supposed to share it amongst 100 persons the arithmetic still remains the same each person is going to have two oranges what if, if we increase it to 250 oranges and then these 250 oranges should be shared amongst 100 persons now it means that each person is going to have two and a half um, oranges now let's take it a step further now this time around we want to divide 2000 oranges amongst uh, 1000 persons okay now do you observe that the arithmetic still remains the same each person is going to have two oranges and then if the oranges are 250 2500 rather and then there are still 1000 persons now how many oranges is each person going to have each person is going to have two and a half um, oranges now that's um, simple arithmetic but let us take a closer look at these results now something very interesting for us to observe okay good now uh, remember that a decimal point can always be inserted after the last digit of a whole number so here we have 20 oranges 20 divided by 10 now we can simply write 20.0 and um, the result is 2 meaning that um, uh, this gives us uh, okay it's like as if we moved the decimal point one space to the left that is the decimal point is here we moved it to this position okay we have two hence giving us 2.0 okay now what do you find in this case remember 25 divided by 10 is two and a half two and a half is the same thing as 2.5 so it's like moving the decimal point from here to here to obtain 2.5 okay now in this case again our answer is 2 so we move the decimal point from here 1 2 and then we have uh, 2.0 or if you like 2.00 okay good and then in this case Again, dividing by 100, we move the decimal point from here, one, two spaces to the left, and then we have um, 2.50. Now, what do you observe here? When we divide 2,000 oranges among 1,000 people, we have two, and this is the same thing as one, two, three zeros, or 10 raised to the power three. So, move the decimal point from here, three spaces to the left, one, two, and three and uh, this gives us 2.000 okay and um, if you observe very closely this is the same thing as one two three and this is 2.500 now very interesting isn't it notice that the number of spaces the decimal point is moved is the same as the number of zeros in the divisor. What do you mean by divisor? A divisor, divisor. Now, divisor. 
a divisor is a number that divides um, another number. So here we're using 10 to divide 20, we're using 100 to divide 200, we're using 10 to divide 2 to divide. So 10 is a divisor, 100 is a divisor, and 1000 is a divisor, and they are all powers of 10. Okay, now again, one thing I wanted to notice again is that after the decimal point, now all the zeros appearing at the end are actually not significant. That is to say, this zero is not significant because uh, this zero or oh, these zeros also are not significant. This zero is not significant. These zeros are not significant, and these zeros are not significant. So, in the real sense of it, our answer here is simply two, and this is. 2.5 this is 2 and this is 2.5 and this is 2 and this is 2.5 therefore in summary to divide a decimal a decimal fraction by a power of 10 simply move the decimal point you know to the left by the number of spaces that is equal to the number of zeros in the multiplier 